Hello, welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. Today we're going to be fitting the continuous ink system. It's a HP DeskJet 3070, or otherwise known as the B611A. So at the moment the printer's powered down. Uh, I think it's powered down. I'll just switch it back on. Uh, so we need to get the print head over into the middle of the printer, uh, and then I'm going to power the printer down, uh, and then we'll proceed to installing it. So I'm just waiting for the printer to come over into the middle. Right, so now, now it's moved, I've powered the printer off, just going to switch it over into the middle and then we can start to install the SIS system. So before you install the SIS system, you need to check that the roller on the side is in the down position. Uh, and that must be locked down tight uh, and then also have you got any air in your line so if you've got more than about four inches of air in your lines uh, the chances are that if you install it the air will come to the back compartment of the cartridge and stop it filling up so we do have other videos and guides for removing air but that's very important you must remove the air from the system before installing so I'm going to remove the orange cap now please please keep the orange caps because generally we don't tend to keep them as a, a spare part generally uh, and if you've ever got to prime the system in the future you will need to keep the orange cap so I'm just going to pop them over uh, and they're going to pop them straight into the printer like that so we need to fit the uh, <coughs> the grey arm now uh, so you can see I've got quite a few twists here in my cable so I'm just going to uh, take some of them out just by turning the system uh, around. Uh, we need to fit the grey arm. So before we fit the grey arm, please check you've got a nice loop shape coming off the top here and there's no twists, kinks or curves uh, at all. Then you can remove the green backing tape from it. That's one. Uh, and then the second piece and it gets fixed uh, in the middle here uh, just with the second sticky pad up to the edge. And then also on the ink line you have a, a black clamp here. You can remove that green backing tape and on that one and just uh, affix that one there. So we need to check the print head now and just check can it actually reach all the way over to the left and all the way over to the right hand side. So it's in all likelihood you're going to have to make an adjustment of your ink line. So this here should be a little bit loose. So you can see there it's a tiny little bit loose. If yours is any bigger than that then please make an adjustment. To make an adjustment just just hold the clamp and then just pull it with your right hand and it will make it a little bit shorter. Don't have it too tight as it otherwise over time it can cut into the ink line at this point here. So just a little bit loose, just repeat that process backwards and forwards a couple of times until you're happy with that. Right, within your accessory pack there are two double height clips. Remove the double the uh, double sided tape from them, place one over that side and the second one over here on the left and it actually gets placed on the print, let's just move the camera, printer lid sensor here. So that will trick the printer into thinking that the uh, the lid is closed. So back to the SIS system, I'm going to put the roller in the up position uh, and then I'm going to remove the small flat plugs before I power the machine on. That bit's quite in, that's quite an important step that you do that. And then you can power the printer on. So let's just switch it on. So it's going to know, the printer's going to know that the uh, lid's going to think that the lid is closed straight away because I've fitted the plug. Would help if I press the right plug. Right. Back to the continuous ink system. Also within your accessory pack, you're going to get some air filters which look like this. They should be inserted with their narrow pointed end facing upwards. going to pop the lid down at the moment and we're going to get some paper for the machine uh, and we'll run a few, a few copies off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run uh, gonna, I'm just going to open the lid I'm going to take the clip off. If you've ever got to open the lid you have to remove uh, that you have to remove this clip again otherwise it won't recognize that the uh, the lid has been opened 
So I'm going to power it. It's giving me a carriage jam uh, error when I know there's not. So maybe to do with uh, my previous install. So I'm just going to switch the printer off and back on again. And hopefully that should clear it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a couple of egg cleans. Well, so it's cleaning the print head now. I'll just do a couple of egg cleans and then we'll uh, we'll uh, get a sample print off. So what it's giving me, never seen this before, this will be about the fourth time I've fitted this today and it's giving uh, cartridge jam, clear, clear ca uh, carriage jam, clear carriage jam. So I'm going to remove the print head cover and what I'm going to do is I'm going to check is it actually still able to slide, can it freely move. So as you can see, no carriage jams at all on that side. That's perfectly fine. So I'm just trying to clear that error. So I'm going to pop the cover on. Could be the printer. I'm not sure this was bought as a second hand printer. It wasn't bought as a new one. Uh, and we didn't test it beforehand at all. Yeah, so it's running through its printer preparation now. So it's about finished now, so I'm going to run a, to pop something underneath the lid and run a couple of scan copies. So 
So what I'm doing is I'm just doing a second clean on it. It needs a second clean. So it can be quite normal. Sometimes you can get away with doing no head cleans. Sometimes it's necessary to do one or two. Uh, it, all, it really does depend. So as you can see that's how it works with the uh, with the printer lid open. Uh, what we'll do is I'm just going to scan a couple of documents now. Uh, let's just have a look. Uh, copy, uh, copy, copy, colour. I'm going to print a uh, print quality report instead. Okay. So that's how uh, you've previously seen how it prints with the lid open. That's how it prints with the lid closed. So it's very silent, very quiet, very little noise. And that's it printing again with the lid open. And that is how you fit the continuous ink system from City Ink Express to the Deskjet 3070 or otherwise known as the B611A. Thank you.